Scion offers two cults, the sporty and engaging rear-wheel drive FRS, and the more practical front-drive TC. The FRS may garner more excitement at dealership, but the TC is a competent lift-back coupe that will better suit the needs of drivers who don't care about performance. As we ponder why to purchase this car over the FRS, there are still some reasons to choose a front-wheel drive Scion TC, like ride quality or features for the money. The FRS also offers far more usable space. Two adults can fit in the back, and the hatch area will accommodate far more luggage than that of the ERS. Don't expect any packaging magic inside the TC, though, as all the usual rules of sporty coupe supply here. The accommodations are snug in front and in back with tight headroom all around a sunroof is standard and makes things a bit worse than they could be. One unexpected twist is that the back seat reclines a bit. Cargo versatility is also somewhat better than you might expect, with the front seats tilting forward easily and hatch area large enough with deep side rooms for several roll-on bags. Value for money has been one of the major selling points for the TC, for just over $20K, it includes things like power windows, locks, and mirrors, cruise control, steering wheel audio controls, and a sunroof. A new display audio system is standard. It comes with a 7-inch touchscreen, HD radio, Bluetooth hands-free calling and audio streaming capability and access to a hot internet radio via owner's smartphones. While the FRS is low and sleek, the TC sits more upright but has a little attitude of its own. Sharp angles, creased corners, and high shoulders make it recognizably to yoga from some angles but a little alien from others. From the Cylon like helmet shaped into the rear roofline that's also a nod to the Nissan GTR and Chevy Camaro to the shoveled nose and tail that fall in two lines with an 80s subtext. It's basically a Celica at heart, we think, but less subtle. Perhaps a bit overwrought, the TC is a more masculine plaything in appearance than what it actually island inside. The design has enough design nuance where it counts, in the cut to gauges and M and M shaped climate controls but the look is drab and the materials are low-end. Performance is only adequate. The 2.5-liter per-cylinder engine produces 179 horsepower and 173 pound-feet of torque. It is paired with a 6-speed manual transmission or 6-speed automatic, the latter with both downshift red looking and steering wheel.